Hi everybody. I'm going to do a stork carrying a little baby boy today and this is going to be our pet of the month. And he's very easy to do and we don't need too many colors. There's your supply picture. And we're going to make the body all in one. So we're going to take some white clay and roll it out into like a long triangle. And you want to put the pressure on one side of it and keep the back side bigger. You see it's like I'm doing with my fingers because you want to keep the body big. And we want to make a nice long neck. Just pinch it up a little in the back there. That's going to be his the tail. And this really is my idea of what a stork looks like. I didn't really research what a stork looks like, but this is kind of the idea I had in my head. Of course, you can make the blanket any color you want. If you want to make the beak yellow, you can do that too. Now we're just going to roll two logs for the legs. They, I kind of made this one the foot a little too big, so you'll see that I trim it. You want to keep the feet about the same size. That actually kind of looks like a hockey stick but that's okay. We're going to give him webbed feet. So I just trimmed it down. And you can see, I don't use a wide variety of tools. Um, most of these tools are just simple little things like the knitting needle, the needle tool. Very cheap. Now I decided to make my beak just a little bit lighter than the legs. And you can make it the same color as the legs or yellow, I don't care, you know, whatever you want. And I know I made the beak a little big, but I just kind of like the way that looked. You can also make it smaller if you want. Now this is going to be the blanket that the baby's wrapped in. And I made it go over the top of his beak, but if you want to open up his beak and have it like between his mouth, like in his mouth, you can do that also. But I'm always thinking of, if you're going to sell the ornaments, you don't want to make it too complicated. You want to be able to make them quickly. Because after all, selling ornaments, you want to make a profit. And if you take too long to make an ornament, there just won't be a profit in it. And I made the blanket just very simple. I'm going to add a bow at the top. Just the standard way we always make the bows.
Now, I'm just putting the baby's head in there. I'm not having hands sticking out or anything because I'm assuming this is, you know, you know obviously the stork is bringing him. He's a newborn and we're just going to have him bundled up in there. And I'm not putting any hair on the baby either. And of course you can make the baby any skin color you want. I added the little candy cane thing just for decoration, but eh, I'm not really sure how much I like it. And now that I'm looking at it, I always put the holly leaves and berry on. I don't know why I did not put them on here. I should have. Now here I ran into a little problem with uh, putting the hanger in or hook, whatever you call it. The stork's head is too thin. See, it's just too thin. And when I put the hanger in, it kind of got squished. It just didn't look right. And it's, well, first of all, the hanger's too long. So I had, I had to uh, trim it down a bit. Yep, messed it up there. Now, if I had pushed it in all the way, it would have come out of the bottom of his head. So what I'm doing is I'm making a ball of white clay and I'm going to round out his head, which looks much better than if I had left it and blend it in. You don't want to see any seams. I think that looks much better. Now I'm going to cut down the hanger. And when you do that, remember, don't push it straight in. You gotta have a little hook at the bottom that goes in or else the weight of the ornament might pull it out. Now, when I make his wing, I kind of put it over the baby blanket. So it looks like he's also holding the baby with his wing. And there's a lot you could do with this ornament. You could put a Santa hat on the stork if you want, or maybe give him a, a garland around his neck, but I'm just leaving it kind of simple. But you can add quite a few things onto this. Now you can also paint on his eye or you can use a seed bead, put a seed bead in there. I'm just putting in a little, some black clay. Now what I'm using there is blush, but the other little compact thing I have, that is um, eyeshadow, which works just as well as blush, but you can get many different colors. And 
and he's done. And that was quick and easy. And make sure you bake him according to the directions on your package of clay. And I have to tell you, I didn't leave him in the oven long enough because it was getting late and I wanted to get a picture of him painted. So I only left him in there for 10 minutes. And when I took him out, his legs fell off. So make sure you always bake for the allotted time that you need for your ornament. And there he is. I had to glue those legs back on. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.